so I've been a fan of Street Fighter and Ninja Turtles for a very long time. I mean, probably since, you know, I've, I've, I've known about cartoons and stuff. Uh, I think I've been a fan of Ninja Turtles before Street Fighter, and I love them. Don't get me wrong, I still do. And uh, I thought when this collaboration was going to start, the Street Fighter Ninja Turtles collab, I thought it was going to be really cool. I really did. I thought this was going to be really neat. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking, like, how is this going to work? And, um, it, well, are they going to be, like, you know, costumes? Are there going to be characters in the game? Uh, would you be able to wear the costumes or some type of memorabilia as a street fighter? Well, it's kind of like that. What they're doing is basically they have, um, they put the, you can use the costumes to put on your avatar for if you created a character for your world tour and you can buy the mask or whatever. Now, I watched some gameplay some of the guys that are dressed as the turtles and it looks pretty cool when they're fighting amongst each other but it's kind of weird watching you know leonardo do a fireball with ken or like ken or something it's kind of weird but nevertheless i thought it was okay just to see that but the whole picture of this situation capcom missed the mark on this they missed the mark on this big time in my opinion and uh i'm not going to necessarily blame capcom it sounds like something like a probably a Nickelodeon licensing thing because to get the costumes, each one is like fifteen dollars. They're like seven hundred and fifty fighter points, which it amounts up to fifteen dollars. And you can buy the like the mask, you know, the red, blue, you know, purple, orange, you know, the mask for the characters. You can put the mask only for like two fifty, and I think that's what five dollars. Now, for me, I, I wouldn't purchase these things. That's just me. I wouldn't do it. Uh, I thought it was going to be more of a collaboration to where you can buy the costumes and it would be a little bit cheaper or you'd be able to fight with the tur turtles in game. They have like their own move sets or whatever. That, that's, you know, that's the kind of thought process I was having. And a lot of other people are not really taking this too lightly. They think this is kind of crazy. Now, some people think it's cool and the people who think it's cool are the ones that are just going to, they're the ones that just buy all type of stuff like those are the ones who you know buy all type of dlc and you know they, they some the people that spend a bunch of money on these type of games so i'm not really knocking them it is what it is but if you're really looking at this from a a, a basic consumer standpoint they they missed they missed the mark on this because i think these costumes are too high it kind of seems like that it's somewhere around the you know, inflated microtransaction, you know, level where this game, to be honest with you, Street Fighter 6 didn't need any of this. And, and I mean, this is something that's kind of like, why? Why are we doing this? I mean, I understand the Turtles are uh, a big deal right now with the new movie out and stuff, but I don't think Capcom needed this right here to be a part of their game. Now, if they did it, you know, and it was a little more subtle, I get it, but now with the price tag of these uh these costumes, it, it kind of seemed like they're trying to dip their toe in the crazy microtransaction thing, which to be honest with you, Capcom is no, you know, they're no uh stranger to it. I mean, they kind of backed away from it some for, for a few years now, but they've been notorious for this kind of crazy type of, you know, microtransaction stuff. And some of them are more egregious than this. So I'm going to give you um a little background on how some of these people feel, like some of the fans. So I go to like Polygon.com and you can go to, or you can go to the Street Fighter Reddit and some fans are actually just making their own costume. So here's one right here. <laughs> I think this is funny. You versus the guys he tell you not to worry about. <laughs> look at that. That That is like hilarious. It's got 3,000 upvotes. And look at that costume. It actually looks, you know, not too bad. <laughs> And there's another one right here. He said he saved 15 euros. <laughs> Look at the shell. <laughs> that's just, that's, that's crazy. But nevertheless, um, but this is what some people are doing. You know, they're, they're not going to pay that much money for, you know, um, these costumes. And they're not really, I mean, I don't, I, I'm the one I can't say that it's worth it or not. I know I wouldn't do it. You know, my thing is I'm a huge fan of, ninja turtles but i'm not the one that's going to be buying this type of stuff I, I mean some cosmetic stuff is cool but i don't see this cosmetic stuff being tangible now full transparency i do buy cosmetic stuff in certain games uh the pga tour golf game i love buying some nike adidas and P 
being in Titleist. I like playing. I like wearing you know certain clothes for my golfer. I do that, but I think that's a that's slightly different because you know most golfers want to look good when they're playing golf. You don't want to be like that NBA two K uh, generic looking guy shooting golf. You know what I'm saying? You want to look like you know you want to look like you're on point. But you know I digress on that. But this right here is it's cool. I do like the image of the. Uh, of the the artwork up there, they, they kind of use the Marvel's Capcom three, uh, uh, Tokenoku. I think I said that right. Tokenoku versus Capcom or Cross Capcom. I think I said that right. I don't know. Uh, I like the artwork, but when you see artwork like that, you, it makes you think that they're gonna be a part of like special characters or something. But no, they're just costumes, and the costumes you can use on your avatar. You can uh, also get the the mask to put on. It's cool, but. I think they missed the mark on this, especially when it's a little more expensive than you would think. Five dollars for the mask, fifteen dollars for the uh, entire um, uh, suit on um, uh, costume. I, I, I'm not against it. I think they look really dope, but I think that this is down. This is going down a path that a lot of people didn't think Capcom was going to go down. I don't think. I don't think a lot of people would look at this and be like, "All right, I can see Capcom doing this," because Capcom. They earned a lot of goodwill. If you haven't been around, if you've been around around the 2008, 2009, 2000, well, anywhere between 2008 to 2013, Capcom was like scummy as hell at one point. I mean, who remembers the on disc DLC? Not only for um, Tekken, I mean, not Tekken, but Street Fighter Cross Tekken. There was on disc DLC for like, I think it was like, um, what was the game called? Uh, uh, Resident Evil 5. I think it was the nightmare stuff was on disc. I could be wrong, but I think it was. So it's it's a lot of crazy stuff that they did before. And you know, they're, they're, they it, it kind of, you know, it kind of made them fall back a lot. And now they got away from under that and they're starting to dip their toe in this. And to be honest, before I get out of here, I don't think it's necessarily Capcom's fault. I think it's just the price of doing business. This is what they do. I mean, this is what you have to deal with when you're dealing with licensed products. Nickelodeon, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, any other product that's high profile right now. If you want to get them in the game, you're probably going to have to spend up a lot of money on it. So I don't think this is necessarily a cash grab for Capcom. I just think it's more on a Nickelodeon end. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I'm a huge Turtle fan. I've always been a huge Turtles fan. Uh, my favorite Turtle is Leonardo. Um, and yeah, uh, Street Fighter. How could you not like Street Fighter? I mean, I love it. Ken is my favorite character. But nevertheless, I just think they missed the mark on this one. Uh let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna get up out of here. Uh and um I will be back with another video. i uh, hit the like button, like and share, subscribe, and uh I'll see you next time. All right, y'all. Peace.